Okay, so we've got this interesting little spot here that we've been just having a quick investigation of. Um, and at a glance, we can see straight away on the edge of the field there, some fairly fresh looking holes. Now these have been dug by badger. They're, it's fairly obvious just from the shape of them. So badgers dig for lots of different reasons. They love digging. So they dig themselves little territorial latrines that they repeatedly defecate in to mark their territory. They dig for worms. They nose about and dig in the leaf litter for all sorts of other insects and invertebrates. So um, we can tell just looking at the shape of the hole straight away, it's uh, looking very, very badgery. However, if we investigate a little bit further, this hilltop bank top here is quite flattened and has obviously had quite a lot of use. We found some deer tracks in here. There's even um, deer poo. There's also a lot of squirrel sign, but because we're on the edge of the field here and we've got all of this sign of activity outside, this is looking like a possible entrance for the badgers to come into the woodland. And we've ac actually already noticed some sign of badgers in the leaf litter around, which we'll have a look at in just a minute. So we can confirm whether this is an entrance or not because of the presence of the barbed wire fence, which has a bit of a habit of capturing hares. So if we have a look down here, I've been able to retrieve a hare. So white at the tip, dark in the middle and paler at the other end. So this could conceivably maybe be from a muntjac deer. Um, looking at the height, it's unlikely to be any of the other deer squeezing themselves under that gap. But what we can do to be sure of our identification is to try and roll it. Because if we get it between our fingers and do that, you can probably see on the camera there, the hair will not rotate. And that is because in cross section, it's flat. Okay, so as I move my fingers, it wants to stay flat rather than just rolling over. So we can tell it's a badger. It's also, deer hair is more brittle and this is quite strong. So obviously this is why these hairs were excellent for shaving brushes for the Victorian gentleman, because they're durable. Deer hair is hollow and will snap if you pull it like that. So we can be certain that it's badgers coming in under here. So we know it's badgers making the holes outside, but we know they're using this as an entrance point to the woods. Now, if we start to have a look at the leaf litter in here, even just scanning about, it's fairly obvious that there's lots of little holes of disturbance. We can see it all around here. And if we come in and have a look at some of these, they leap out at you when you get to a certain angle where you're looking down into the little holes. But as we look down here, we can see a mark here, a mark here, a mark here. This is probably the best and the clearest one. And what's caused this, we can see these needles in a V shape and they've been pushed up. And what it is, is the snout of the badger digging in here and dragging the leaf litter and needles in front of it. So obviously it's heard or smelt something tasty down here, stuck its nose in to grab it. And we can see the same thing here and the same thing here as well. And then when we actually start to widen our vision and look around, you start to realise how busy these animals have been overnight because the whole area is covered in these little snuffle marks. Um, and in actual fact, it makes you appreciate how very, very busy they've been. Now we do also have a bigger hole here. And this looks like an old latrine. There's nothing obviously fresh in it, but this is exactly typical of the sort of toilet hole that badgers will dig. Okay, so quite often you'll find that it's completely full to the top because they'll reuse them. So you may, you may find that the hole's several inches deep, but it's almost full to the top. And badger scat can vary hugely depending on what they've been eating, uh, what they've been eating at the time. It can be quite wet and sloppy, um, which is typical of eating a lot of earthworms, or it can be quite a lot drier, and it can even have things like chitin in, so little reflective bits of beetle case and things like that. It can be all fruit, um, particularly September time when there's lots of fruit on the trees and things. So it's very variable, but nine times out of 10, it will be in a latrine like that. The only time I've seen badgers pooing out in the open is when it looks like they've had too much fruit and they've got caught a little bit short um, and have uh, accidentally voided themselves in the middle of the track rather than making it to uh, dig a latrine. So lots of badger sign, um, and with a bit of luck, maybe we'll find uh, a little bit more to show you shortly.